Hey guys, welcome back to Monster Review where we take a look at tech, tech tips and how-to videos. Today I have an interesting product by Master Lock. It is a Master Lock Smart Lock. This thing, it's very low key. You're not going to find it on any, uh, you know, tech review blog. Very low key. Um, I didn't even know, like I said, I didn't even know it existed until I walked into my local Lowe's looking for a padlock and stumbled upon this. It's a smart lock that runs off of Bluetooth. And the idea behind it is that you lock your shed or whatever, you um, walk away and um, there's an app, a master lock app on your phone. And when it gets within proximity of the lock, if you push this button and it senses your phone, it will unlock for you. Now, if you don't want to use your phone to unlock the lock, you can also, you know, use these, these uh, up, down, left, right keys. Um, to kind of put in your combination you can set a combination and just up down left right a b start <laughs> so you can do up down left right and then bam it'll um unlock using that combination so what are some of the features well you can share guest access uh, you can monitor activity it um, gives you an alert if someone's tampering with the lock and a low battery warning the battery is about to die it's weather resistant that about does it yeah i mean it's pretty much just a lock that has smart capabilities now the lock is very heavy um and it's rubberized it definitely feels like it will withstand the elements of the weather very well let's open it so we got here the instructions all right put that aside just that's it for the packaging very simple packaging all right now so the first thing we got to do is download the app that goes without saying with any smart device you got to download the app if you don't download the app you can't use the smart capabilities there we go that's what the app looks like master lock vault e-locks i'm gonna go ahead and download and install it go ahead and create an account all right so we went ahead created an account got into the app so now it says no lock found so to add a lock we just hit the add and then on the manual at the top left corner there's going to be an activation code just going to go ahead and we're going to type in that activation code would you like to calibrate your phone with this lock go ahead and calibrate press any button on your lock to wake it okay please stand about six feet okay so we're going to stand six feet away from the lock and then we're gonna hit okay I'm ready okay so calibration is complete just hit okay and there's our padlock so we should be able to hit this button and the lock will unlock there we go and then it shows us that the lock is unlocked and then if we lock it, it shows us that it's been locked so for history, this is, you know, basically when the lock was unlocked and who it was unlocked by. You can view all history and see everything. Then you can go guess, add guess. You can add from contacts or add a new guess. Basically just fill in their information and then they'll be able to access your lock once they download the app. And then you got a primary code and if we type in up, right, right, down, 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 left, it will unlock. And that's without Bluetooth. And here is the lock unlocking with the phone one more time. Unlocked. Bam. And the lock is unlocked. What I want to see is real world tests. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm also going to take off Bluetooth and turn it back on to you know simulate me going far away where the lock cannot communicate with my phone and then me coming back close to the lock and unlocking the lock let's see if it works and it does work awesome so with closing all the apps taking turning off bluetooth and turning it back on and then coming within close range of the lock it does indeed work Let's give it one more test. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off Bluetooth and try unlock the lock. Again, it works just like it intended. Right, the reason why I wanna test it so vigorously is because a lot of people have said in the comment section or the reviews for this lock that it does not always work. Sometimes they'll go and get something, they have their phone on them. When they hit the button, it doesn't unlock. 
Now I'm curious to know whether, you know, they leave their Bluetooth on at all times on their phone or if um, automatic battery settings turn off Bluetooth automatically, which is causing all those problems for them. This That's pretty much why I want to test it vigorously and see. Again, it does unlock. So, I mean, obviously doing it right here in front of the camera doesn't prove anything. We're going to have to test it real world, long term, to see if this lock really does hold up and if it works every single time. I mean, if it doesn't work once in a while, that's forgivable, that's fine. Because at the end of the day, you do not need a key to open this lock. It's completely keyless. And even if you don't have your phone, you have the trusty keypads that you can use. It's a win-win. Basically, now on the bottom of this lock, if we take off this rubber pad here, there is the battery compartment, and there's also contacts here. And basically, what these contacts allow you to do is to jump start the lock with a 9 volt battery in the event that your battery dies on the lock. So you can at least get into it. And we're gonna do it one more time, one last time, and it unlocks. Awesome. There you go. That does it for this super short video on the master lock. It is indeed a smart lock. It does work like it should. Um, only long term will tell if this lock holds up well. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.